Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet Designs. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on the gorgeous puppet base for our Halloween. Ah, special video coming up very soon. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. We are doing the base today and that's the base complete. The colour combination for the base was chosen on one of our live antics at 10am Saturday morning Melbourne Australia time by the lovely Gwendolyn. She chose for our colours today, she chose this particular blue denim. Now I had all the colours laid out on the table and I said, picked one of my subscribers that were on the live and Gwendolyn just happened to be there and she chose the blue denim. So we are making one in blue denim. We are making uh, one in the ghost colour or light grey and we are making one in the cream. Okay, now this is the one we're working on today on um, the tutorial, for the tutorial, but I wanted to use this one, but the colour was way too dark online and we couldn't see the stitches very well. But we are definitely making your colour combination as well, Gwendolyn. Get excited, all right? So thank you, Gwendolyn, for your choice of colours. What we will need, I should say colour, what you will need for your uh, tutorial today is an eight ply or a DK weight yarn or a number three. Now I'm using 100% pure wool, but you can also use acrylic as well. I wouldn't suggest cotton as this pattern is relatively tight on the hand, so cotton may come out a little bit tighter. All right, uh, we are using the four millimeter hook that it suggests. Yes, we are. You will need your scissors. You will need a sewing darning weaving needle and you will need two stitch markers and you will need them. And my suggestion would be to have one smaller than other, one, one smaller than the other or one different colour so that you can differentiate between the two. All right. How much yarn will you need? I hear you ask. You will need exactly between, um, well, I, this is here for me, it's 49, let's bring that out a bit. It's 49 grams. Okay. But I have a, a fairly small hand. So you'll need roughly between 50 and 65 grams, depending on how big uh, your hand is. Now I do ask you when we get to here, if you want yours to be longer, uh, please go another few rows. And even when we do here, I say, right, are you up to here? If not, do another couple of rows. Okay, so there are areas that you can lengthen in. I did, I did, I think I forgot to mention, I'm not sure. Once you get before the um, decrease rows here, when I say to you, head off on your own and do five more rows, and then when we come back, we did a decrease round, right? Keep calling them rows, but they're rounds. If you're thumb is still not covered properly after you get to the second decrease round that's going to be too small for you all right so heads up I would do a sixth round here and then start your decrease round if you have a relatively large hand my hand is really small I'm a shorty that's my puppet there that's puppet number two and this color I have to take undone because it's actually I won't even be using this this is a an Aran weight, um, way too big for the hand, all right? So you will be needing the three colours if you're wanting to choose, if you're wanting to make three puppets like us. Once you do this one here with us today, you can make as many puppets as you like with whatever colour combination that you like. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm not going to hold you up anymore because this tutorial goes a long time. Um, but there you go. And a special thank you to Gwendolyn for her colour choice. Good luck everyone creating your beautiful puppet base. Alrighty guys, we're going to start off by making a magic loop. Just grab your tail end and popping it in front of your two fingers. That's better. Grab the working yarn and pass it over your tail. Yep. What you formed is a little X. Pop your hook under the first loop of the X, grab that back loop, pull it up and forward. So now you've got that one, that one, and then two here. You have to try and hold on to all of them. Yeah, so your tail's sitting in front and your working yarn is in the top of your hands. So notice how I'm not letting go, I'm just passing it into the other hand. We're going to form uh, two chains for now. So that's yarn over your hook, pull a loop through once, yarn over twice. And now we're going to do some half double crochets in the center. And a half double crochet is yarn over your hook, 
you're working over the two tails pull a loop through you've got three loops on your hook you might want to bring your fingers up to complete it yarn over and pull it through when you bring your fingers up it's a lot easier to work with grabbing your stitch marker and popping it in the top two loops of that half double that you just made yep top two loops and then you've got your little post there this chain two in this round will act as nothing okay now first before you start your tails your center is really big just give the tail a gentle tug not too much because we are going to fit another eight more half doubles so this is your first one we need nine all together yarn over your hook in the space over both those loops yep yeah? pull a loop through yarn over pull through all three loops oops don't split the yarn that's your second stitch yarn over in third half double crochet yarn over in fourth yarn over fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth all right You've got your nine stitches, but you know what? Someone walked in and disturbed you while you were counting and you lost count. How do we want to check the count? These little V's that you see, let's try that this way. The little V's that you see here are your stitches. So that's your one with your stitch marker. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so you have your nine half doubles. Yep, this is where the magic happens. You grab that little tail and you just give it a tug and presto, it's gone. <laughs> Your center has gone. Now that's not the end of that tail. We're going to weave that in as well, okay? Don't let anyone tell you that tail's not going to come undone. It can come undone in the wash. And the fact that these are puppets, that part of your puppet is facing the front. You don't want that coming undone in the middle of a puppet show. <laughs> not at all. All right, so... There's your stitch marker. You are going to slip stitch into that stitch where your stitch marker is. So all you're doing, you're not doing any yarn overs, you're just popping your hook in the stitch with your stitch marker. It might be easier to take it out now. Then you grab a normal loop and you pull it through and then you pull it through to the loop on your hook. Yes? All right, now you have nine half double crochets. We're not including that chain two at all. Now what I want you to do is just chain one instead. Now it's a little different to the way we normally do these things, but this is what I want. Chain one. In the same stitch, you are doing a half double crochet. Same as what you did here. Yarn over your hook, and that's right in the same stitch that you are in. Those two loops there. Pull a loop through. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Pop your stitch marker in there. This is very similar to making a beanie, but I've changed the beginning a little bit, okay? Now, leaving that space, you are going to jump into the next stitch, the very next stitch, doing two half double crochets in the same stitch. Yarn over your hook, into the stitch, pull a loop through, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook without splitting the yarn, yarn over, and we're doing a second one in there as well. All right, and now we're putting two in each stitch until we get to the end yeah so one and two 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 and then two into the next one and two that was our last <laughs> that doesn't want to work for me this last stitch that's the last stitch all right now if you played your cards right you had nine in your previous round you put two in each except that first one. We still haven't put our second one in there. So you really, you should have 18, but at the moment you should actually have 17. 
So let's count them. I'm not going to use the pin. It annoys me. <laughs> it's a needle, by the way. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Which is absolutely correct because we're going to put the 18th in the same stitch as our slip stitched stitch. Remember that slip stitch we did in the previous round to start our half double? We're going to pop our hook in there like so and then slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker taking that out if it helps I reckon it does but anyway pull the loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook and that's what you have so far all right guess what chain one half double crochet in the same stitch this is round three And I don't mind if you guys correct me when I say row, because it's actually rounds, <laughs> not rows. All right. Um, we're going to skip that space. Even though we're still in there, we're, usually we put two in there. We're only going to put one for now. We're going to put the second one on the way back. In the next stitch, we're putting just one. Yeah. In the next stitch, two. One and two. In the next stitch... One. In the next stitch, two. One and two. All right. It's two, one, two, one, two, one until the end of the round. And we'll just continue on in that manner. I'll try to go as fast as I can and I'll meet you there once you're done. So your next stitch is one. last stitch which lands on a one which is correct we're going to put one half double crochet in there now if yours didn't land on a one you may have gone wrong with count somewhere all right now ordinarily you should have 27 stitches in the round at the moment you'd only have 26 because we still need to do one more there so let's just count what we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And we are now going to complete our 27th in the very, mm, let's get a close up of that last stitch there. And that's the slip stitch that you were in, if that helps, right there, like that. And then you are slip stitching into the stitch with your stitch marker. Pull the loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook. Now this is where the pattern changes just a bit, which makes it a lot easier for me. That's what I think anyway. So chain one, and in the same stitch, you're still putting half double crochet, and you are placing your stitch marker. That's not changing. The beginning of the stitch does not change, nor does the end. All right. For now, what we need to do is do a half double crochet in each stitch for, sorry guys, I'm just adjusting my frame there, I apologize. So a half double crochet in each stitch for 13 stitches, all right? So yarn over your hook, one in the first, two in the next, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, oops, don't split the yarn, hello, nine, ten, e eleven, thought I missed a stitch there, twelve, and thirteen. All right, so what you have is 13 across that way. And now what we need to do is do two half doubles in the next stitch right there. So one and two. And a half double in the next 12 stitches. I had to think about that, sorry. <laughs> one, I'm trying to remember the pattern. One, two, three, 
four. Mm, that's splitting it four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Let's try that eleven again. <laughs> eleven. <laughs> and last stitch, twelve. And in your very next stitch, which is actually your first stitch you started with, we're putting one more. So there's two there and two on almost the opposite end. So yarn over your hook, pop it in the space with your stitch marker, pull a loop through and do your normal half double slip stitch into your stitch marker and that is your first repeat round all right now say focus that's the one round you need to remember for repeat and now this is the second round so you have a two repeat round in this pattern now chain one half double not in the same stitch what we're going to do in this particular part of the tutorial is half double in your next stitch and on the way back, you're going to pop a half double in that stitch. Now, if it helps to put a stitch marker there to remind you that's where your half double is going to be. If you're new, this is something you need to do. But the rest of us, we're going to skip that and go into the very next stitch with a half double. Like that. And then put our normal stitch marker up the top. On the way back, you're going to place a half double in that stitch marker stitch and then you'll slip stitch into the second stitch marker stitch all right for everyone else who knows what they're doing you don't need to worry about that just chain one and half double over now half double in every stitch until you get to the end of the round super easy yeah half double in your next no increasing just half doubles all the way across and i'm going to pop this on fast for you until we get to that very first stitch marker and off we go We're almost there. I've got my second last stitch. Let's do a little close up so I can show you what I'm doing. All right, we've got one more stitch before the stitch marker. So I'm going to hop into that last stitch. And then in that stitch marker stitch right there, that's where you're popping your half double, like so, which is over the chain one that you did across. Now you're going to slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker like so get rid of that stitch marker chain one hold it there all right what you should have now is 27 stitches still because we didn't increase that's why we did that chain one and moved over now your lines will move over but don't worry that sorts itself out later when we adjust the pattern to suit now the last two rows we just did you need to repeat those two rows two more times. So altogether, you need four more rows. Yeah. However, what you need to do is you need to do your increase round where you do your half double crochet. I'm sorry. You do your chain one and a half double crochet in the first stitch. Count over 14 stitches. I had to look at the pattern there. Count over 14 stitches. Do your increase in the 15th stitch count over 13 stitches and do your increase in the first stitch that you made repeating those two rows right that's the first one and i'll leave an instruction list at the end of this session anyway so you won't you won't miss out uh, and then you're going to do a normal half double crochet row remembering to move your stitch over yeah now just repeat those two rows two more times Again, I will leave that little instruction list there and then I'll meet you back once you're done. But before you do, this is going to be a little awkward to weave in later once we close up our, um, you know, I don't know what you want to call it, puppet base, is that's what we're calling it at the moment? Because this is just a base and this is the wrong needle. 
<laughs> this is a thread needle, but don't tell them. Shh, they don't need to know that. All right, here we go. So don't let anyone say that this is not going to come undone because it can. What you need to do is grab your sewing needle, just weaving in. As you're going to this direction, keep going. Make sure you can't see the needle from the front. And you can't, that's good. Pull the loop through, tighten it up. Keep going. One more time. One more time. Just want to get around to the main uh, stitch. Am I checking the front? No, I'm forgetting to check the front. Check the front, don't forget. <laughs> then you're going to go back in the same direction, but not in the same stitch you just came out of. Otherwise, you're going to unravel. So skip over to another stitch. Checking the front. Remember, this is the front of your work. Yeah. And just do... I don't know, one more, two more. I think one more is plenty. Check the front. Nope. And there you go. That's been crocheted over once, weaved around once, and weaved around the third time altogether. All right. So now you can cut it and continue on to do your rows. All right. I will leave a little um, notification here and what you need to do next. And I'll meet you back here after your four rows. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of that set. Now you should be, your last round should be a plain half double crochet round, yes? And you should have 33 stitches in the round, yes? So now what we're going to do is, let me get organized here. All right, we're going to do our final half double crochet in that stitch with your stitch marker. If you're using them, if you're not, and you know what you're doing, that's fine, whoops. And then you're going to slip stitch into the stitch with your second stitch marker. Chain one. Pop your first stitch marker in that same space that you just slip stitched into. Yeah, that's the one you just slip stitched into. And then you're going to skip that space, jump into the very next with a half double. without splitting the yarn and then you're going to pop your stitch marker in the top stitch like so and guess what you're going to do simple round you are going to half double crochet all the way across the round so simple I'm going to pop this on fast for you and we'll meet until we get to the uh, next the very first stitch marker and off we go Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the round. I have one more stitch right there. Yep. And there's the stitch marker stitch, the very first one. That's the one that we're going to put a half double in. Yeah. So pop your half double in there. Whoops, it probably would have been benefit to take that out while I was doing it, as you do. And then you're slip stitching into your stitch with your stitch marker and get ready for some instructions. Whoops, don't do that. I split the yarn. Pull the loop through, pull the loop through, chain one, hold it there. So here we are at the end of the round. We have still 33 stitches in the round. Guess what guys? You are now going to head off on your own. Repeat this round that you just did 11 more times. Easy, yeah? All you're doing is forming your here and you're forming the rest of it up to about there on your hand oh that wasn't even in frame you're here and you're going to form the rest up to there all right so head off on your own form another 11 more rounds and i'll meet you back here once you're done 
Alrighty guys, where you should be is here. You should still have 33 stitches in the round, 32 at the moment for me because I need to do my other one in that little chain space. But before you continue, just pop your little puppet base on. Where it should reach is roughly there. Once it's together, it should look like that. It should be right flat bang, just in the groove of your thumb and your finger there, right in that groove. If it's here, do another row or another two rows. You might have, you know, longer hands than me. If it's way up to here, then you need to take a row undone because otherwise it's going to be all bunched up, yeah? So just measure it to suit your hand. This part is basic. You don't need to change the pattern to do this. All you need to do is add an extra round or take off an extra round to suit your hand. Me, personally, I think this is perfect. Again, if it's only a tiny little bit different, then leave it this way, okay? Because it won't make too much of a difference if it's uh, very minimal. All right, so in the meantime, we're now going to start the opening of the mouth. All right, so where we are is here, right there in that stitch, like we've been doing all along, we're going to pop our half double crochet in the space of the chain. Well, the little chain space thing there. Oh, I split my arm. Oh dear. All right, and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the stitch with your stitch marker in it like so. Chain one. Skip that space like normal. You want to pop your uh, small stitch marker. I've popped it up here. This is why I struggle to get it. <laughs> Nails. Okay, pop your stitch marker in there, the, the usual stitch marker that you've been doing all along. Yeah. Then you do your normal half double crochet that you've been doing all along, that first one. Pop that stitch marker in there. Now is where we open for the mouth. Yeah, We're going to chain 15. Try to keep these chains uh, straight. All right, so we are chaining. That's yarn over your hook. Oh, let's do this. Once, two, three, four. Don't do them too tight. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Holding it steady. We're going to be popping a half double crochet in the sixteenth stitch. Now you're already in here, so you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and there's my 16th. I'm going to pop my half double crochet in there and just do a normal half double crochet in that stitch. Now I'm going to check those stitches again, make sure I haven't skipped or added. So we're here and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So I'm good to go. Yeah. Check yours, make sure it's correct. Now, we're going to be doing a half double crochet across. So you've got your one in there already. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Try that again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. In that stitch again you know the uh, chain stitch space you're doing your half double crochet taking out your stitch marker and you are slip stitching into the very first stitch that you created like that all right taking out that stitch marker and what you have is your mouth opening right there so that's where your hand will go. All right, super easy, yeah? Super easy, super easy. So from here, pop your hook back in there for now. 
Now we are in that very first stitch that we created from the previous round, yeah? So actually that is going to be your uh, chain stitch. Let's take that undone for a minute so we know what you're doing. So in every round you slip stitch into your normal stitch like so, yeah? You chain one, place your stitch marker in the space of the chain one. You're going to pop a half double crochet in that stitch at the end of this round, like normal, and then slip stitch into your first stitch, which will be in your very first stitch right here. Now, it doesn't look like it, but there's actually one stitch right there. Don't miss it or you'll be one stitch short. What you're doing is you're going through one loop only of each of these chains. So yarn over your hook, pop your hook in one loop only, pull a loop through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, place your stitch marker right there. That's the stitch we're going to slip stitch into at the end of the round. That's the stitch we're going to make our half double and that's the one we're slip stitching into. I hope this is making sense, yeah? Then you yarn over your hook, go into your very next loop and you do a half double. That's a second one. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember just the one loop. Oops, don't split it like I just did. Just the one loop. And eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, there was two loops. Eleven. Oh, gee, I'm doing well. Let's try that again. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and if I can get a close up look here for you 15 is right there and your next stitch is actually going into the stitch 16 17 and we're in all the stitches now yeah 18 this is normal 19 20, let's go fast, 21, she says as she stalls, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, <laughs> 26, 27, <laughs> splitting the yarn, 28, 29, here we go, getting close now, 30, 31, and 32. Your 33rd half double, my yarn would sit still, goes in that first stitch marker. All right, I hope that round made sense. It was a little bit awkward, uh, but I hope it made sense. Take out your stitch marker. And slip stitch into, <laughs> into the stitch. Have I split it? Oh no, it's not too bad. Slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. Best part now, pull a loop through. I did split it. Let's try it again. <laughs> Here we go. Pull the loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook. Chain one. Pop in your small stitch marker in that space right there struggle for me because it's split half double in your very next stitch like that pop your stitch marker in and guess what you not only have done your opening but you have also put a half double in every stitch in the round now what we're going to do is just the same half double in every stitch in the round it's so bit basic it's like what you were doing before the opening um, except you're doing it a whole separate section of your work 
all right so it's not as difficult as it seems it was just that one side that was a little difficult um, but once it's done the rest is easy i'm going to pop this on fast and we're just going to do a half double crochet all the way around until we reach our next stitch marker and off we go so here we are at the end of this round we've got one more stitch to go and get ready for some instructions in a minute guys because we're going to pop our normal half double in that slip stitch stitch remember that one there take out your stitch marker and slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker and get ready for the instructions we're just going to chain one i'm going to pop a a stitch marker in that chain now this is a little tip I do occasionally in some of my tutorials to let you know that when you walk away from your work pop a stitch marker there and this way if anyone gives it a pull no one's going to let it undone now I'm gonna to have to do this round undone again because look I've list, lost a stitch there I'm gonna skip the stitch well it's split the yarn yeah all right in the meantime for the instructions your job now super easy is to continue this round over and over again for another 15 more rounds and once you've completed that 15th round meet me back here and we'll talk about what we're going to do next Alrighty, guys here we are after our 15th round pop your little puppet on your arm what you should have is that where it's comfortable enough to move around and still have it long enough so when you are let me pop that up a little bit you have that under the table like that or like that no one can see your arm if they can see your arm you need to do a few more rounds yeah um, other than that I would say that's it if yours is really loose and you want to tighten it up do a round of single crochet and that will tighten up your band I'm going to leave mine as is we're going to cast off right there yay get excited that's it and that's actually and oh by the way I didn't show you just real quickly um, the lines where are the lines what they're here you don't see them they're all around there Now you don't see them no matter how you look at your puppet you won't even see those lines ever okay especially around here when we're going to be putting other objects on it um, so there you go that's it fantastic give your work a cut make sure your count is correct you don't need to stress too much as long as it fits nicely on your arm if you're one stitch short and it still fits nicely on your arm that's fine it's really quite okay so thread your needle quickly you need to get rid of this thread <laughs> just split don't you love it don't you love it thread your needle real quickly and hopefully I don't split it again nope all good and remember that this is actually the right side of your work so your yarn needs to go inside your arm piece there you can put it any way you like I'm gonna I don't know whichever way it's facing let's see what's the best way of doing it that way let's just go down we'll go down the back let's get a close-up right here I'm just going down the back in some stitching way down the back make sure you can't see the needle from the front not too much of a problem because it's on the bottom of the puppet and no one will see it but you still want it to look nice right you still want it to look nice gorgeous yep all right so now what you're going to do is find some stitching somewhere anywhere you like let's try that perfect yeah so pop it in one way bring it through like so Ta -da. don't pull it too tight but tight enough so it closes and then just going back in the same direction but skipping another stitch and going into some other stitches and not exactly the same stitches all the way through yeah no can't see it great and I think that'll do yep that will do always when you're doing things like this weaving these ends because guys 
these are small items and small items if you don't weave in the ends they kind of all get tangled up on your hands and get stuck into stitches and then stitches are lifted and it doesn't look right all right so now what we're going to do um, this is a little bit of a tricky bit because we have certain ends that we need to go in here but what I wanted you to do is face your part of your hand to you this is the bottom part of it face it to you now uh, bring it up all right so I wanted to show you quickly you can't see it too well but it's one two and three all these three stitches are going to be worked into later so don't go in those skip one more just to give you some time to move over and go right into the next one so that hole in the corner right there don't go in that one go into skip the next one and go into your next one and then grab a piece of thread this is only allowing us to decrease in those corners later all right so grab your thread pulling it through like so get excited guys this is almost the end of your base yeah, it doesn't look like it right now but it will be in about 12 rounds I think 13 15 can't remember chain one <laughs> yarn over your hook and do your normal half double in your very next stitch now remember what we're doing exactly the same as what we were doing before grabbing your stitch marker grabbing that stitch marker and popping it in yeah and then you're going to pop a half double in your very next stitch not the same stitch you're in but your next stitch and you are crocheting over your tail at the same time which is allowing that tail to be weaved in as well and yet we're still going to weave it in as well right pop your stitch marker in there now just like before when we were doing our rounds you need to slip stitch you need to put a half double in there and then slip stitch into that stitch all right so don't stress too much about that because we're going to do this section together all right now we are going to half double in every stitch whoops so in the next one stitch two crocheting over the tail three four five I think we can drop the tail now and we can weave the rest of that in later six seven makes it so much easier doesn't it <laughs> with the tail gone eight nine ten and eleven and one more sorry twelve all right so what you have is one two and three here what you're going to do is half double those three together sounds a little tricky but it can be done quite simply now a lot of people do the half double and then they half double up again and they half double up again end up with about six or seven loops I don't do it that way I started as a normal half double so jumping into your next stitch hold it there pop your hook into the very next space hold it there pop your hook into the next stitch hold it there now what you've got there this is now we're going to be going into those chains that we didn't work into before so you've got one two three four five loops on your hook yarn over pull through all five loops giving it a nice tight tug and yarn over your hook remember those loops that you didn't go into before you're going to go right into there one loop with a half double one into your next if I can get it with a half double two your next with a half double three and that's what you're going to do until you get to your very next corner section so four oh, I split my yarn didn't I hello four <laughs> split it again why not let's do it a third time hey <laughs> four hello let me get that out the way so you can see okay five Ooh, really I'm splitting this yarn today aren't I doing well five six seven
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, oh, let's put that yum, let's put that yum, oh, let's put that yum, yet again, 12. Alright, so what you have here now is a little tricky. We might need to get into another one there. I'm going to go into that 13th one right there. 13. Alright, from here you've got one, two and three. It's hard to see but you've got it. There's your one. Hold it there. We're doing the joining three together again. Two. And then right into that stitch there, three. You've gone into that stitch with your three, yep. Yeah? There's one stitch right there. You need to do a half double in that stitch. And remember the chain, the slip stitch that we need to do a half double in? Go ahead and do your half double in that stitch. And then you slip stitch into the stitch, <laughs> the tight stitch, with your stitch marker in it. <laughs> slip stitch in that tight stitch. <laughs> She's so naughty, guys, so naughty. Pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook. Chain one, remembering to put that small stitch marker in. I just say small one because I use a small one for that section. And then we're going to do a half double in your very next stitch. Right there, pop your stitch marker in there. All right, we're going to do a half double, one, in the next one, one in your second, so that's two, three, sorry about that, four, it's a little awkward guys, just bear with me, five, <laughs> bear with me, <laughs> six, Seven, eight. Let's try that eight again. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Remember, we had twelve before, so we still have the twelfth there. And right in here is that three that we did together. Just do one in there, makes 13. Then one into your next, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, that's in that three stitch, yeah, 28, and if you're correct in your stitching, you should have your 29th in that chain stitch. All right, I'm hoping this makes sense um, with the decrease. We did one round decrease and one round just plain half doubles. And that was decrease on the sides, okay? Chaining one. Uh, pop your little stitch marker in that stitch marker stitch. Well, not the stitch marker stitch, in the chain one stitch. Skip that stitch that you're in, and we're so far away. And jump straight into your next stitch with your half double. You know that part, we've been doing that all along. And we've also been putting our stitch marker in there all along too, Mary. Come on, get with it. Keep up. <laughs> Come on, Mary, keep up, they're saying. All right, so that's one. It's your first stitch, one. Two. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And when you get here, instead of doing the three together, you're only doing two together. All right. So one in there like that. One into your next like that. You've got four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. And then you do one into each of the next stitches. One, two, three, four. Five, six, whoops, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now you've got two together, one and two together. You've got four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. And this time you are putting your half double in the stitch with your stitch marker, like we've been doing all along. Nothing's changed there. Oh, I'll take out that stitch marker. And you are slip stitching into the stitch with your stitch marker. Nothing's changed there. Pull a loop through, pull it through to the loop on your hook. Take out your stitch marker and chain your one. Once again, popping that small stitch marker. Now, if you know where to go at the end of the round, you don't need this stitch marker. The reason I put this here is to remind you that you need to put another half double crochet in there at the end of the round. If you're new to crochet, you can miss that stitch and then you'll be one round short. Pop your stitch marker in there. All right, what I want you to do is to do a round of half double crochet round, finish your round, get back to this stitch marker right here, and I'll meet you there once you're done. All righty, here we are at the end of this round, and you should actually have uh, 28 stitches in the round. And you know what? If you've got 29, if you've got 27, it doesn't matter too much, yeah? There's no exact count in this section here. It's closing up mouth time, so <laughs> closing up mouth time, you like that? That's what they're thinking about me. Uh, half double into your stitch with your uh, stitch marker in from before. Uh, and then mm, I've split the yarn there, slip stitch into this stitch right here. Chain one. Pop your little stitch marker in there and get ready for some instructions now. Oh, we're going to do a half double in the very next stitch like we've been doing all along. Um, pop your stitch marker. I don't know if I was out of frame there, but you know what we've been doing all along. Sorry, guys, if I was. To apologise if I was out of frame there. Um, but there you go. So what I want you to do is repeat this stitch now, this row, sorry, for another five more rows. Meet me back here and we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of our fifth round. Get very excited in a few rounds time. We will be done. What they're saying, what? True. All right, gonna pop my last half double crochet in that chain stitched area and then slip stitch like normal you know how to do this part so you don't really need to see me do it whoops and pull a loop through these next two rounds are decreased rounds all right so you need to stay focused on the count so you're chaining one and even though you're not going to need this decrease round you're not going to need this stitch in the decrease round okay so don't worry about it but we'll put it in like normal and you can do your half double crochet in the first stitch like normal. And you can put your stitch marker in there like normal. You will need that stitch anyways, so that's good. All right, from here, including this stitch, we count three across. 
we count two across and in the third and the fourth stitch we do two together all right so that's cl classified as one and two and the next two stitches you're going to do them together so we're doing half double crochet two together so pop your hook in pull a loop through like normal then just jump into your very next stitch and pull a loop through like normal but now you've got four loops yarn over pull through all four loops on your hook and into making sure you don't go in the same stitch but into the next stitch you go one and two yeah so one and two one in each stitch and then in the third and fourth you're doing them together one and two together with four loops yarn over pull through all four then you do it again one and two and then you've got your third and fourth together it's super easy repetitive and off we go one two <laughs> if the yarn would stop splitting what <laughs> two three and four together one and two mamma mia three and four together one two three and four together i'm going to get a close-up of the next set yeah so you've got your one and your two like normal so now what we're going to do is put our half double in the last stitch which is right there now normally we would have done two together but that's the two together with your chain yeah we don't want that we're going to forget all about the chain stitch in this round and just slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker and that is your three and your four together all right bit of a tricky stitch there but it suits yeah chain one pop your stitch marker in there so you can see where the chain one is and in this step here what we're going to do is we're going to make the first two together okay so the first stitch will be together with the second stitch so one and two together make sure this is a tight stitch and not too loose yeah pop your stitch marker in there and we'll be slipping stitching into that at the end of the round okay so now that's going to be classified as your two together so you've got one in the next it's two and three together being careful not to jump into that one we're going straight into the next stitch with one and then two and three together being careful not to jump into that go into your next one and two and three together all right super easy yeah don't jump into that one straight into your next one two and three together one two and three together one into the next and then two and three together and you have your chain stitch now we are going to be popping our hook in that chain stitch we didn't before but we are with this one all right at this way it keeps your center your little piece centered yeah so pop your half double in your chain stitch space and then slip stitch 
Oh, into the stitch with the stitch marker that I've split. <laughs> Is this way too close? Sorry, guys. Slip stitch into that stitch, the top stitch, like normal. Chain one. Okay, now um, pop your stitch marker in there. Like so. Now, once again, you are doing the two half double crochets together. One and two together. And then one half double into your next stitch. Two together. One and two. And one half double into the next. And one and two. <laughs> Don't split the yarn. Oh my gosh, we're doing well with this yarn today. I'm so glad it's almost over. <laughs> One, it is almost over. And two. And one into your next, right there. One and two. Nearly there. One into your next, right there. And from here, it's fairly tight, but it's good because we're going to close that up in a minute. All right. So what I want you to do is just pop one into your next. And then all you're doing is slip stitching into the stitch with a stitch marker. Yeah. You probably need to do another one, but we're not going to do that because we're going to close it up anyway. So my suggestion would be, oh, maybe we should do it. I might do one in there. It'll help us close it up. So let's do one in the stitch marker stitch. I've just changed the pattern, but that's all right. It's okay to change patterns. There's nothing wrong with that here. Yeah? Um, slip stitch into the stitch with your stitch marker. Because it's not like that on the pattern, but anyway. Let's pull it through, pull up a loop, and before you cut your piece, you need to check that this fits your thumb because this may not fit your thumb it might be too tight and for me it's perfect I've got maybe that much let's get a close up so you can see you'll know because you can see my um, nail right there right that's the black nail there and I still have that little bit left so I'm ready now to close up shop with this one but if your nail or your finger is sticking out you need to do one row of half doubles Okay, and that's all you need. Don't decrease because you won't have any space to decrease left, yeah? So you can do one row of half doubles and that will make it a bit bigger. And then all you do from here, get excited. Make sure you're happy with everything. Cut it. <laughs> it's been driving me batty, this yarn. It really has. All right, so that's that. Grabbing your sewing needle, your darning, weaving needle, whichever you want to call it. Um, thread it without splitting the yarn and hopefully I don't split it this time. Oh, first time I didn't split it. Normally I split every time I split. All right. From here, all you're going to do is find, in fact, you know what we can do? We can go straight back into that stitch. It's not gonna hurt it and then go through. You're going around, you're going in and around. Pull it through like so, yeah? Then you're going over the top of that one and around the other one. Don't pull it yet, you can pull it later. Go over the top of that one and around that one. Over the top of that stitch and around your other stitch. Almost there guys. Over the top of that one and around there. And I would say we are there. So what you could do now if you wanted to is just tighten it up. Yeah. But from here, you really need to make sure that thumb is closed before you do. Once again, check it. Now that it's tight, it may actually pull and tug. Is it pulling and tugging? No, not for me, it's not. So that's perfect for me. Very, very fine. I love it a lot so far. Um, when I say so far, we've got to get all the um, embellishments and everything on our puppets. So what you're going to do here is you're just going to go in and out a few stitches like that. 
all this is doing here is closing it up being careful not to pull too tight but don't leave it loose either you want to make sure that every want to make sure let's try that again you want to make sure that everything is closed but not pulling tugging tight so it looks like it's you know pretty bad i'm not worried about it because we're going to put all sorts of embellishments on this puppet and on the other two puppets as well so just can you see what i'm doing there i'm just going through wherever i feel like it. there's no right or wrong way to do this part just going through each area making sure you're not picking up any threads from the back of your work yeah otherwise you'll be pulling it and everything once you think it's not too bad just grab your sewing needle pop it down the center now this is the tough part you've got to put your hand in there without pinning yourself grabbing your needle from the inside pulling it through but don't pull it completely out or your needle will come undone just pull it through and what i want you to do here is weave this end in and that's it that's all we're doing so you're going to find some places here where you're going to weave in your end try not to go into the actual puppet too much and i've lost my ta tail oh what do you do look at that that's not going to work is it <laughs> weave it in two or three times guys weave it in two or three times so making sure that will not come undone if you want to make a little knot here you can um, the way you do that, and I'll show you so that you can see it, is like this. I wouldn't, but I'm going to do it for this one here so you can decide whether you want to. Just pop it through one loop. And when you pull it through, don't pull the whole loop through. Give yourself a bit of tail. Pop your needle through that loop and just give it a tug. If you're really worried about it coming undone, that won't come undone now okay but if you're really worried do that little knot i'm not going to worry too much i'm going to just weave in the ends as best i can <laughs> like that okay we've got another tail to weave in but i'm not going to let you watch me do that because you know how to do that one and i'll show you just quickly what you can do this one here is fine i'm not going to weave in anymore we've done we've knotted it we've done all sorts of weird things to it it's fine yep now, if it's not too tight, that will work perfectly. If that's too tight, forget it. See this one here? We crocheted over it this way. If you want to stop and just cut it there, by all means, I'm going to weave it back through and then through again because I like to be reassured. But not while you're sitting there waiting for me. What's the point of that? All right, let's just see how we're going. Give everything a little bit of a tug. I think that's perfect. Hello. 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 Um, <laughs> she can't control herself, guys. She can't. Now, that is puppet number one or base number one. Your job now, guys. Get excited. Where's the other one? The blue one's over here somewhere. Here we go. There's the blue one. Now, obviously, I've got to do the grey again because look at the size of that. That is a five um five millimeter let's try that again that is a 10 ply or an aran weight we're not doing it that in 10 ply and aran weight we're doing it in eight ply dk weight yeah and this one is exactly the same as that but i haven't finished it yet it's there all right now as you know this part here is easy so easy the mouth can be a little tricky but just be weary that when you're doing both puppets to focus on the size of your thumb if you find that it's too small for your thumb just do an extra row before you even start decreasing do an extra row yeah you saw what it looked like with my thumb in there so you know what to look at to me that's actually quite small but i've got a small hand <laughs> it's hard to imagine isn't it um i have a small hand yeah i'm a tiny person so i have a very small hand so that puppet it's perfect for me but is it perfect for you do you need to make your puppet a little longer by all means change the pattern to suit but in the meantime guys go ahead make two more of these in this color which is what we call ghost and in this color which is the blue denim and a very special thank you by the way to the lovely Gwendolyn for her choice of puppet now if you wanted to be a part of our live antics and choose your own color combination 
for the very next tutorial. Please join us on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time. And that's when we do our lives and you get to choose, well, you as a subscriber gets to choose the colour combination of our very next tutorial. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Don't forget to do your other two uh, bases right here. And I will see everyone on our channel, or let's say on our live on Saturday morning at 10am Melbourne Australia time. Thanks so much again, Gwendolyn and ciao for now.